Keemstar's been going after people in my community recently. Actually, he's been he's been what you know about I'm Alex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with the Hitler haircut. He's got like the <laughs> like. I thought I had a no. comb over. That motherfucker's got the combest over of all time. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not too much a fan of his hair, but he's a nice guy, Mister Mister Alex. Also, I yeah, you're not a fan of it. Him too Do you well. know how hard it is to get hair like that? I am absolutely a fan of it. That dude put effort into having that comb over. Yeah, uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. But um, but yeah, so. Uh, I'm Alex. Do you know about the whole Slazo allegations and things? No. I don't know who Slazo okay. is. I've heard I, the I, name. I, I don't okay. know who he is, but Yeah, Slazo is a Reddit reading channel. Ah. And I should probably I, I, I I'm the reason I ha- I feel like I can I can talk about this because I was also on the end of this issue because I you'll you'll see. So Because he's also a Reddit reading channel. Yeah, but I, yeah. I, I did I, I, I jumped the gun in a way, right? Yeah. So um Slazo uh, he's a Reddit reading channel, and he's like 19. He's like a kid. He was like 17 when he started his channel, yeah. I think. He's like, literally, when he got big, he was like 17, right? But he's 19 and now. I think he's like 18 now, actually. Okay. But, um, so he's fuckable. The... <laughs> That's what are you saying? Dude, I, I would. If he I would. consented. Michael, watching this. Is what I'm saying. But anyway, yeah, if he consented. Well, uh, but basically, what's the one fun of in his... that? All right, carry on. One of... <laughs> One of his ex-girlfriends uh, came out on Twitter with a big old twit longer, basically describing how Slazo had, like, raped her, uh-huh. had touched her inappropriately, constantly had, like, driven her to, like, this, these horrible lengths, uh, despite the fact she was only 14 and had never had a boyfriend before, right? And these allegations were, like, damning. She had the receipts, she had the screenshots and everything, right? She had the rape awful. receipts? <laughs> well, she had the she had all the Discord screenshots. She had Discord screenshots of Slazo going, "Oh, it's rape time," <laughs> and people, like 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 this proper like literally, and that's word wait, for word what he said. Wait, it's rape time. <laughs> yeah, it's wait, it's rape time. My, my. And then she like respond, and then her and the Discord is like going no and things, you know. It's like, mm-hmm. and um, I read these and I was shocked because I work with Slazo. I mean, I'm his I'm his outro music in a lot of his videos. I I yeah. sung his little theme song, right? Yeah. So I've worked with Slazo a lot, and I see these allegations, and I see all these big YouTubers like uh, King Annie, I'm Alex, Quite, and stuff, and Weast and things, all jumping on this and all being like, oh, it's okay. Oh, he's an awful man. Don't worry. He won't be able to do this again. So I just come and I put a message saying, thank you for shedding light on all this. Just know that we're all here and we all support you. Right. And that's all I just left it at that. That's all I said. I didn't like, I didn't try and attack Slaz or anything. Cause I was just like, it's not about him. It's about her. And yes, I thinking back on it now, I really should have just messaged Slazo first. I have the capacity to. I have him on Twitter. I can DM him. Yeah. But I didn't. I decided to publicly, you know, and that was my mistake. That was the issue, right? And you, you can probably agree. I was, I was a bit stupid there. I should have, I should have taken a step back and asked Slazo like, what's this about? Instead of publicly going on and essentially damning him, right, for what he did. Uh-huh. A month passes and Slazo comes out with a video where he essentially says how she'd lied. And he says how, yes, he was a bit of a bad boyfriend, but he never raped her. And he has proof that he never raped her. And he describes how she basically lied about all this. And suddenly, it's all flipped on its head. Like, oh, shit. Uh, he, Slazo's not a bad guy. He's not cancelled anymore. He's back. And he get and so, but the damage has been done. Slazo's no longer gaining subs. He went down from almost having 900k to he now has, like, just under 700k, I think, or something stupid like that. And he's gained back a bit of his subs, but they're just it's just not increasing anymore because the algorithm's just seen that he's dropped and they're not going to plug him anymore. Yeah. So I deleted my response to Shay because I left it for a bit because I wanted to see what Shay had to say in case Shay then comes out with like you know I don't know what be fucking what what a Trump slash response I don't know, like a video of like you know so if if she comes out with a trumping response I wasn't gonna like uh, come out and like say anything too big but I deleted my thing I apologized and I just left it and I said right I'm not getting involved in this not me anymore here's where the issue arises though. I'm Alex, King Annie and Weast, all those people have just, have have stuck with their guns, which is fair enough to them if they know something I don't, fair enough, but they've stuck to their guns, and now all these screenshots are coming out of, like, them discussing how they're going to release Shay's pictures and, like, how they're going to stop Slazo and things, and it's, I don't know, man, I, obviously I'm not going to make another statement on it, but it seems really shady, and Keemstar's now just bullying <laughs> them. Keemstar is going ham on them and they're refusing to comment and all they're saying is all that all that they're like saying about it is, you know, 
oh, we're not going to associate with Slazo anymore. Huh. And I'm just here like, I See, don't know this, what, is I why, don't uh, this is why I don't talk to any other YouTubers, man. They're fickle. <laughs> fickle beasts. Mm. They, uh, you know, they're... <sighs> See, if that isn't a great example of uh, the, like, the only using people for, for, um, I guess, your career, your YouTube career, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, they are just trampling that dude's life yeah, for like the, the exposure of it all, you know? We, yeah, but, like, I'm, I'm reserving my judgment. Because, like I said, I don't know Slazlo personally, and I definitely don't know his ex-girlfriend personally. Yeah. But apparently King Annie and, and I'm Alex and stuff do. So I'm not getting involved. I'm, I'm, I'm distancing myself from this whole thing. I shouldn't have got involved in the first place. It was stupid. I'm distancing myself, you know. Keemstar's on the fucking war path right now. He, made a, he, made a, he brought back his baited podcast just to shit on I'm Alex for an hour and a half. All right, I got, I got a, a thing though, a little gripe about uh, I guess what, not technically what you did, but um, I guess technically about what you did. The uh, the yeah. idea of doing the official like condolences, apology, yeah, hearts mm. and thoughts and prayers and all that shit, it just seems so whack to me. Like, why the fuck would anybody? think negatively of somebody for not doing a public like whenever uh uh whenever the fucking like a, a school is shot up in in america everybody's just like oh, uh mike pence hasn't done a, a public uh, thing about it yet uh talking shit about the gun carriers i'm like i don't mm. fucking care like what he has <laughs> to say yeah at all no nah, no you're right or like, it's, like it's, or they're like uh oh, oh, very heartwarming on Twitter. Beyonce sent out her thoughts and prayers to the victims of Columbine. That's fucking years before time. Great. But, you know, You've it's like... It's all school shootings. It's yeah. cured. You fix the issue, Beyonce. And I'm like, thank fucking God Beyonce's here. <laughs> Beyonce <laughs> has given her thoughts and prayers. <laughs> yeah, I, I would actually want to hear it more in the news if, if like, if Beyonce was just like, haha, fuck you. Like, she's like, shits on him. <laughs> That's Shouldn't what you should have done with that whole Slazo thing. Like, message her, like, done a public tweet at her. Be like, yeah, what do you do? Like, in detail. Can you <laughs> unzip pants? So, tell, oh, tell oh, us exactly oh. what he did. <laughs> Can we get into the nitty gritty? <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck oh, fuck cool. her. Who gives a shit? I don't know who the fuck she is. Does she make videos? No. Um, I don't think so. Is no. he being brought up on charges? No. No, I that that's the thing, yeah. It's like I don't if he's fucking, fucking care. guilty, fucking call the police, you yeah. know. Yeah, I really need to play on the schoolyard some more. I, I don't I don't know the goings ons of because I didn't know I didn't know like Slazo I had saw something about his name popping up recently, so I thought things were you know, when people's names are popping up, you're like, Oh, things are going good for him. I was like, Oh, his channel's booming or something. I hear I'm seeing a lot of Slazo in the scrolling <laughs> Apparently it's not good. Yeah. 